Hey class, today we're going to talk about making a simple map in QGIS. So let me share my screen with you and walk you through this. So when you first open up QGIS, you'll see this empty new project. So you'll click on that and of course you'll see that it's empty. What we want to do is add a base map to our map. And to do that for the first time, we're going to have to add it in as a plugin. Once we have it saved in our QGIS, then it'll be very simple to add each time. So at first, we're going to go to plugins, manage and install plugins. In the search field, we'll type in quick map and we'll see quick map services come up. We'll click install and that'll take a few moments. And then we can go to close. Now we'll see it in the toolbar up here. And if we hover over each of these tools, we'll see some other, other things as well, some other plugins I've downloaded already, but we want to click on Quick Map Services. And from there, we'll go to Settings. And from there, we will go to More Services. Click on Get Contributed Pack. Click OK. Now go to Visibility. We want to make sure OSM is the only thing clicked. We don't want anything else clicked as visible, just OSM. And then save. Now in our browser on the left, this panel over here on the left, you'll see XYZ tiles and you'll see open street map. So this is great. This is now very easy to find. So we won't have to go to plugins anymore or anything else. We'll just go to OpenStreetMap. So double click on that. Great. So it pulled up our street map. Then we can zoom in and out as much as we want and we can pan over. So in this toolbar up at the top, you'll see the pan field, which is the hand. You'll see zoom in, the magnifying glass with the plus. Zoom out is the magnifying glass with the negative. So let's zoom in first. Let's zoom in to try to get closer to the state of Maryland. Great. And if we wanted to zoom over a little bit, we can pan and click it all around until we're happy with the size. Okay, so let's say this is the, the extent that we want of our map. Now we'll go to project new print layout. This is where we'll start to make our map that we're going to save. So first we want to give it a title. I'm going to call it Maryland map project. Then click OK. So now we're in this new view. We're in our print layout view. So the first thing we want to do is add in our map. So go to add item, add map, then with your left mouse button, you're going to click and draw the size on the screen that you want your map to take up. And there you go. Now for a good map, we always want our north arrow button. So add item, add north arrow, and then click and draw on here the size you want your arrow to be. And you can change around how you want that to look by going to the item properties. So on the right, you'll see item properties open up. Go to search directories and search images. You can pick from lots of different items. Let's say I like this one. All right, now I want to add in a scale bar. So add item, add scale bar. Let's say I want this in the left hand corner. And I can play around with it a little bit. I can make it a double box if I want. I can change it to meters or kilometers, 
miles, whatever I want. So you can play around with it in this little box over here. Then every good map should also have a title. So let's add in a label. Let's put that around the top of our map. And I'm going to go over to the main properties on the right and type in map of Maryland. I want that to be my title. But the font comes out really small. So, and maybe I don't like that font. So I can go to configure and I can play around with different fonts. And then I can play around with different sizes. So I want something that can get pretty big. All right. So we can play around with lots of these different features. And that's basically it. Every time you want to add something different to your map, you just go to add item. You can add in pictures from your hard drive if you want. Um, later, when we add in more layers, we'll want to add a legend, which uh, visually dis explains what those layers stand for. So there's lots of things we can add to our map. So let's say we're done making our simple map. We want to save it. So let's go to layout. Let's go to export as PDF. And we will save it to our hard drive somewhere. I recommend for this class making a folder just called ENST 456. Okay, I'm gonna call this map of Maryland. Okay, and I can also print it um, if I'm interested in that, I can print it from this view. But when I'm done with this view, I can close out. And I can always go back to that view later. So that's it. So now we've saved our first map. And later, I'll have some more videos on how to add some really cool features to your map. And then also different ways to um, to get different data sets into your map, different ways to get in different layers into your map, how to analyze those layers. So we'll do a lot of more fun things each week, but I hope you enjoyed this video and have fun playing around making your own map. Bye.